Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visual Studio and today a quick video to share with you that RGB text title that we've just added to the free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder, either on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, it will ask you to overwrite. And if that's the first time, it will ask you to install. So just click either one of those. And now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, then you can go to Title, Video Editor Studio, and then here you can just scroll down to the free starter pack. The title will be in the styled text, and then you can just take the RGB text and drag it directly in your timeline. Let's play it right now. As you can see right now, we're not playing at the full frame rate. So we're just gonna need to go over to playback and then here go to render cache and switch from none to smart. That will just allow to have like that bar right here that's gonna process the title in the background. And when the bar will be completely blue, we'll be able to get real time playing back at whatever uh, frame rate your timeline is set at. This title is a bit heavier because there is basically a constant animation on the changing of color. And because of that loop animation, the title is a bit harder to play. That's why uh, it's important that you just render the cache so you're able to play it smoothly. All right, now let's move on to the functionality here in the inspector. The first thing you can adjust here is the animation length in second. Right now, by default, it's one second, but we can adjust that to two second, for example. Another animation will be two second instead of one. You can also choose to have no animation in. So right now you have the toggle for the animation in off on, and you can choose to have no animation out. You can toggle that same here with on off. So right now they are both on off, meaning that you have no animation in and you have no animation out. Right here, you also have access to the curve of the animation. So you can choose the type of animation right here with the curve for both the in and the out. So the first one is the in and the second one is the out. Then if you open the first drop down here in text control, you can change the text. So here we're gonna switch it for video to studio. Then here you can select another font. So right now I'm gonna switch to basement grotesque, for example. And here we can adjust the line spacing between the character and we can also adjust the tracking in between the letter. You can also control the thickness of the border. Um, you can adjust the anchor to the left or to the right or center and the overall size and position of the text. By default, if you want to reset any parameter, you can always double click on the parameter and it will reset it to the default value. Then here, the second drop down, you have background where you can choose to have fade-in animation or not. You can choose to have it activated or not. Right now, the opacity by default is at zero, but we can increase it to the maximum to have solid. We can change the color of that background. So right now we can make it like a red background, for example, by default it's black and it's made to help you separate the title with, for example, some footage. So here, if I were to bring some footage in, as you can see now, if I decrease the opacity, we seeing the footage uh, in the background and it just help us uh, make the title pop more uh, against the footage. There is plenty of things that you can do with that background. For example, here you can invert it and create a frame instead. So here, if you reduce the width and if you reduce the height, I'm gonna first just increase here the size of my footage so it's take up the whole screen. And then here, as you can see by inverting it, we are creating basically a frame around our title. Then we can, for example, adjust around the soft edges to make it kind of like a vignette. So right now we have a square vignette and we can increase the opacity of that vignette to make it more present. So that's just one way that you can recenter the focus on your title. 
that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like us to make in the future thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates built only for davinci resolve get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com